Welcome to our two cycle port block off plate fabrication tutorial. These block off plates are used to block off the intake and exhaust ports on a handheld two cycle trimmer or the like. We use them to check the seals and gaskets in an engine without tearing the unit apart. In roughly 10 minutes you can test for an air leak and often find where the leak is in the crankcase. These block off plates are an essential part of any mechanics two cycle service toolkit. In order to fabricate these we have to procure our material locally. I went to a big box store, a local chain hardware and the other big box store and all of them had these in their plumbing department. As you can see they come in a package there are two. Their sizes are 6 by 6 by 1 8 or 1 16 either thickness works just fine. We will break these into three two inch sections. That gives us six block off plate in each bag that we procure. As you can see here I've sliced them and I've also drawn in the legs for my block off ports. Okay, The carburetor's width is 15 16 of an inch the muffler is one inch. I'm going to show you how I got these. Here you can see I've taken an isolator block and measured the distance between the two holes for the screws go through and cut my block off plate to that width. Also on the muffler I did exactly the same thing. I got a good measurement between the screws on the muffler and cut my block off port plate to match. Now the length of these legs are one and three quarter inches. You can make them longer. You can also make a muffler on one end and a carb on the other. That way no matter which one you pick up you'll have the right one. These will normally fit 24cc through 30cc engines so it'll fit several engines. Now I'm going to cut the legs off and you'll notice I've also cut this at an angle or tried to round it. This will aid in when I'm trying to insert in between the muffler or the carburetor in the uh, cylinder or isolator block. Now we loosen the carb and pull it back. As you can see I have left the uh, gasket wherever it sits. If it goes with the carburetor I leave it with the carburetor. If it sticks to the isolator block I stick it to the isolator block. Should there be a leak here I would then ensure that I move this back and then put the rubber gasket back in to uh, recheck it. Here's what it looks like installed. As you can see I have a long leg on this. The one and three quarter inch leg generally only comes to here. This one works great. They both work. Either one does the job. Next we move the muffler back away from the cylinder. We've got the muffler on this side. You can see the nice gap we've got here so we can insert our block off plate. Here you see the block off plate is inserted and again I did a long leg on this one. I was trying out to see if it made much difference. Also in this picture you can see my spark plug adapter that I made. I took a spark plug and here I have it uh, uh, JB welded into the spark plug as an adapter so it hooks right to my pump. You'll see that in the, uh, the leak down test tutorial. Here is my pair that I use here. As you can see there are the two uh, inlets air and fuel for the carburetor and down here is the impulse port where it's blocked off. Also you can see where this muffler was blocked off. These things work exceptionally well. We're only going to 7 PSI so it doesn't take a lot. The block off plates are necessary to seal the crankcase for pressure or vacuum testing. Pressure testing the block has been done for years. It's not new but this is what you use to do it. It is a method to block off your ports. All major two cycle brands including motorcycles do it to check the crankcase sealing. No seal in the engine runs badly, if at all. A small leak can cause major damage to a two cycle engine in very short order. If you work on handheld two cycle, you will more than likely perform this test on a crankcase regularly. Maybe daily, it just depends on the volume of equipment you have coming through. I've made this tutorial so we can all be on the same sheet for pressure testing. To see how to do a pressure test, look for the pressure test tutorial.